So I want to talk about a few things today. First off, what are the differences between a Dyson DC-23 turbine head and a DC-39 trigger head, which replaced it? And because I have the Animal Plus Edition, I'll be able to show you some additional tools which you can purchase from Dyson uh, if you want to use them on any other uh, model that you have. Um, and I will also like to be able to go over maintenance, how to maintain your Dyson once you have one. So if you're a potential Dyson owner, this might be a great video for you to look at. All right, let's talk about the difference between the two. The Dyson DC-23 has 220 air watts of suction. The Dyson DC-39 has 275. So that's a 25% increase. Let's talk about mobility. The Dyson DC23 has three wheels, tends to rear up on the back too. Um, and as you can see here, it has three, the top one pivots. I'll also show you that this is the retractable uh, electric cord cable. So you can go like that and it sucks in the cord for you. Pull it up if you think you're going to use the cord. Here's the power button. Here's the vent that air comes out of. All right, let's talk about the Dyson DC-39. Um, they seem to make it a little bit more balanced. It takes less effort to pull it behind you. Um, also, you can notice that it, uh, both the hose and the canister pivot right to left a little bit. Unlike the Dyson DC-23, where you can see the hose here always points off to the right. You just have to flex the hose to make it go left. All right, we can see here that it has five wheels. Two in the ball, two in the, uh, kind of in the middle, and one at the top. You can also see that there are a few buttons. Power button, retractable cable button uh, for the electric cable. And then the, this gray button here will pop up the handle so you can remove the canister. And here's the vent, the air vent, because the air will come out of that. All right. Now, no canister is perfect yet. Um, all of them can get stuck on corners. So if you think that's the only reason you're going to when you get it, it can still get stuck. Uh, let's talk about filters. Uh, one thing I like about Dyson's um, is that they have HEPA filtration and you don't need to buy bags, you don't need to buy filters. Uh, a lot of other brands have help with HEPA filtration as well, but it will run you about 40 bucks a year. All right, for this, on a DC-23, you just twist that knob by the wheel, uh, you can pull out the filter. There it is. They recommend that you wash this out once every three months. You just pour water on it, you squeeze it out, you let it dry. Dyson DC-39, you push the gray button I showed you, opens the handle, you pull out the canister, and the filter is found there. You just pour water in the top and on the sides. You wring it out like that. You let it dry for about 24 hours. So I guess it is kind of a downer on a Dyson uh, when you're, you can't use it when anything's wet, uh, when you're cleaning it. All right, so let's talk about the difference in canisters. The Dyson DC-23 canister is larger looking but it has a smaller storage capacity at only 0.44 gallons. This has 0.53 gallons of space, uh, and that's of usable space, and that's because there's more plastic inside. With both of them, there's a red button that you push. Uh, this button comes down like that. You can see how everything kind of falls out like that. So you want to do this outside, usually by a dumpster um, or a big trash can outside. Otherwise, uh, your dust can get in um, like that. Uh, in, in the air back in you know, where you took it out of. So, uh, Or what you can do is if you have to empty it out inside, what you can do is you can put it inside uh, like a closet, trash can there, uh, and then close the door behind you or underneath your sink, close the door behind you when you do that. All right, so let's, uh, if you want to, if you have something stuck or you want to clean it, you just push a gray button there. goes out like that. All right, with the Dyson DC-39, same thing, red button. Everything falls out. Push a gray button right there. It's coming out like that. All right. All right, let's talk about some of the differences. Dyson DC uh, 23, you can see it has a bunch of small hard holes. These can get plugged up, as you can see there. Uh, you can use a toothpick to get that out. On the Dyson DC um, 39, you, it has a mesh screen. Things just wipe off, um, and it doesn't seem to get clogged up as well. Um, as often. So what you have to do is these will get covered in dust. So what you do there is you just run them under water, puts water in the top, on the sides and in the bottom. This takes less time to wash out because you have to have the stream hit every single one of these you know, pieces of plastic to get it clean. So that's why this one's a little slightly improved. With the Dyson DC 39, it's also a little easier to clean. As you can see with the 23, it has small crevices right here, and whereas this is much easier to wipe down. All right, so with both, um, you can see there's a little bit of flex in the plastic, but you just wait for the click. Click. You match up the back. See that right there? And then you just push down. All right, good to go. For this, same thing, but they made it with thinner plastic, probably to save on weight. Just flex a little bit, but you wait for the click. Push this in. 
All right, then there's uh, you have to line up those little notches in the back, and then you can push down. All right, you're good to go. Put the filter in, right like that. Put it back on. Put the handle down. You're good. Put this in, right like that. You're good. Filter in behind the wheel. Twist the wheel. Locked. You're good. Let's talk about noise. Dyson DC23. Air's coming out here. DC39. So it is a little bit quieter, but the uh, attachment's a little louder. You take the attachment off, it tastes quite a bit soft, uh, quieter. Um, you notice that the attachment went, uh, quieted down quite a bit. It was spinning slower when it was on the carpeting. That's because it's not spun by a belt, it's spun by air. Um, so both uh, the DC39 is 275 air watts of suction. Dyson's uh, leading upright right now is the Dyson DC41. It only has 235 air watts of suction, a 40 air watt difference. Uh, and so this one's more powerful, but it needs to be a little bit more powerful in order for it to spin the brush and still have the resulting same amount of suction at the end. So um, that's one difference. All right, let's talk about the difference between the turbine head and the trigger head. The older turbine head, as you can see, has a larger profile. Um, mine, over several years, has started to spin pretty slowly. Dyson said they would uh, send me a new one if I was the original owner, which I was not, so they couldn't help me there. Uh, but they're really nice if you are the original owner and you're covered under the five-year warranty, or if you buy a refurbished model, uh, six-month warranty. To turn the brush bar on and off, you push this red button in, turn it on, pull it out like that. Uh, to maintain it, um, you twist, twist, pull comes right off. You can use scissors to cut anything off that you need. You can see here it's relatively a small area that things can get in. Um, sometimes dry, drywall and stuff can get stuck in there. Also things can tend to uh, can get stuck and just go around in circles here because of this black bar you can see right there. Um, so you put that back on. Another interesting thing, Dyson's flat out head tool um, right here is remarkably similar as you can see it has two wheels in the front two wheels in the back and uh, this has a brush a black brush in the back as opposed to a black piece of plastic um, and then the area for suction one th this has a uh, set curves so that, uh, dust and stuff can get attracted on the inside and the sides uh, this has optional sides so you can either have uh, let dust get in the sides by pulling these you can kind of see that um, these red red clip things or you can slide them back like that, and then you have higher suction. Uh, this is uh, maybe about two fingers wide, uh, you know, total area. And I'll show you. Uh, so this is a little bit better um, for just picking up larger things. And it's great because you can go underneath your refrigerator because it's so thin. And this is, by the way, this is found in the Plus version of the Animal Plus. You can also buy it on a, as a standalone for your hardwood floor. Right, let's talk about the trigger head tool. Uh, the trigger head tool, um, see it has four wheels. Uh, there's no plastic or felt on the bottom, um, but that's fine. All right, so let's, uh, one, one nice thing is that it pivots, so it maintains suction as you pull it back. Um, so that's nice, I had good results uh, regardless of what unit I'm using it on. Um, and it's easy to maintain, take a quarter, put it on the side here, pull it out. All right, then you can pull the entire brush bar out. And as you can see, the brush bar is designed to push everything towards the center, which is where it'll get sucked up. So that's really nice. It's also made out of carbon fiber. I use static electricity to um, catch a little more dust. And you can see here, uh, there you go. You can see it's about um, you know, how, how wide it is to get stuff stuck up. So it's pretty nice. It seems to get uh, less things stuck in it than the original turbine head. All right, now you don't turn this on and off using anything right up, up here. It's called a trigger head because you use a trigger on the wand. However, it doesn't always seem to work for me. I'll show that to you. Uh, the trigger, you push with your, right up here. What it does is it creates a big gap. And this is a bigger gap than if you use this unrelated tool. This reduces suction temporarily so you can do uh, like drapes and blinds and stuff. Um, but you're not supposed to hold this one down necessarily. It's just one click on, one click off, and that's supposed to turn on and off the brush bar. But, all right, I'll show you how successful I am. You can see it's spinning now. All right, it stopped. It's 
start it again. Stop. And I tried turning it back on and stayed there. I was having a little bit of trouble. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, let's talk about some of the extensions. The Dyson DC 23 comes with these three extensions. All right, stair tool, uh, crevice tool, and brush tool. For the Dyson DC 39, they've combined the brush tool and the crevice tool into one tool like this. It's a little bit taller than it needs to be uh, because um, when you go into some areas like this, uh, you can see how the, brush, how the combination tool gets, sticks out by about two inches further than the, this other one, but in the end it's only about one inch difference because it is one inch taller. So um, that's the only thing. It's great for corners, and this is, this is the tool, these are the tools that you want to use when picking up larger items like Cheerios or dusting in your corners. All right, another difference is the stair tool. They call it a stair tool because you do the sides of your stairs, the vertical sides of your stairs, and also small crevices. Um, you can see the difference in size. Uh, this means the newer one can fit in more places. It only has one piece of felt, I'm not sure why. But with the Dyson DC23, everything sticks on the side of the unit, right like that. The Dyson DC39, it all clips into this little clip right here. That goes on the wand. And this way, if you ever need to change something, everything is really close by, and bam, I'm ready to do my corners. So, just for quicker accessibility, I think that's why they did that. All right, now, when you buy an animal tool, with the exception of the DC-41, which I believe comes with a different type of animal tool, uh, an anti-clog turbine one, um, you get this mini turbine tool. The mini turbine tool here um, is also, you can also use the quarter to remove the remove it. This is great for your the sides and then you can cut it, but it's also great if you want to use it for your car seats, your couches, anything like that. It has high suction because of the smaller surface area that it needs to cover than uh, like a trigger head or a turbine head. Um, but is it necessarily necessary? I mean, you can use your turbine head on your couch, right? So, but this is what you're getting when you're paying the extra 50 bucks, that and the color purple as opposed to like a yellow or something. So. And you also get this brush tool. It's called a dust brush tool, and that's because it's great for dust. Um, you can also put this on the top of your ceiling fans, uh, like tables that you never use, stuff like that. And one one quick tip that I've noticed, about, you know, for this um, is that if you can you can choose to use your big wand, but if you're trying to do like your blinds or something, it can get kind of awkward. Uh, so what you can do is just remove the, the wand like that, go straight into your handle, just go up and down like that. So that can be kind of nice. Uh, is it that much different than using like a brush tool? Eh, it's up to you. So I hope that uh, that explains some of the differences between the Dyson DC 23 and the Dyson DC 39. Uh, helps you understand how to maintain both. And if you have any questions or any other ideas about things I can do for you, uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.